Okay, I am back working on the rear ends, the oil that goes in the rear ends and all that. Still having some difficulty. This may seem a little barbaric, but it's still leaking out the cracks here. And I am determined to try to stop it because I want to continue to oil it the way I explained in the last video. So my plan here is, I've already cleaned it and I cleaned it with alcohol. And I dried it at the hair dryer, and now I'm going to hot glue it. Because if I ever need to break these apart, I can take the hot glue off. I can peel the hot glue off, and we'll see if it holds up. It may look like crap. It may look like crap and smell like crap. That don't mean it is crap. But I'd rather for it to look a little bad than mess up the parts now I can smooth these down just a little bit where they're a little more neater looking but I'm also doing this transmission spot here too see if it helps like I said I can peel this glue off later if I need to and service it or whatever Okay, I'm just going back and looking for some shallow spots that are thin or I might have missed the crack. Now I'm going to take the uh, plastic welder and it will smooth some of this out where it don't look so barbaric. But I want to make sure I've got it all covered good. I'm tired of it leaking out of there. The only way I figure I can stop it. Okay, this is heated up. I need to get the fan on because it may, may smoke a little bit. Then again, it may not. But if I can just flatten it a little bit where it looks a little bit better. But if I ever have to tear these apart, take these apart, the two parts of the uh, axle housing, this will come off. And this is smoothing it down some. Now how long it holds up, I don't know. I'll give you updates. But I will continue on until I conquer this problem. Yeah, it's just heating the glue on down. It's doing a good job. And I will replace the oil that leaked out of there. And I could put a little black paint on top of this to hide it even more, but I don't think I'm going to go that far with it. And I'll keep an eye on it, see if it gets bumped or rubbed or... Okay, the hole for the rear end chunk is right here. I drilled it on last video. I only drilled one hole. I'm fixing to drill the second hole to let air out over here on this side. And if I needed to, I could make a little plug there, put it on top of it, and put some hot glue on it to hold it in place. So here we go. And I don't know if I can even get you down in there. I gotta go to right there.
Just act like you can see it. All right, we got an air breather hole on there now. Right down in there. I don't know if, probably can't even see it. Probably doesn't even matter. Yep, got to put more oil because the other leaked out. But we'll put this in there and see if it leaks out overnight. Not running it, just see if it don't leak out. And if it holds up to that, we're taking it outside and running it and see what happens. And I got to order some more of this. And I will. I am determined this is going to work. Getting that air out of there. Getting that air out. Okay, we are ready. Now I may not have to put as much because there's probably still some in there. But it should be able to come out the other hole. Which I don't see it coming out over there. Okay, I have put some on each side. I don't need to turn it upside down because it will leak out. That's hot glue right there shiny hot glue yeah just sitting here on the workbench it leaked out so now let's see if it leaks out okay let's just run it on the bench here and see if we can get it to do something I got to hold one side up to hold it balanced check it. Let's check it now. Let's get it off the rack. Flip him over. It may still have to sit here overnight. That looks pretty good there. They don't look bad either there. That's even an improvement. Well, like I said, it's going to have to sit here overnight. I'll know more tomorrow. I know it looks like whatever it looks like, but it's got to be the way it is. Like I said, I could put a little black paint on there if I needed to, but it ain't going to bother me. It's underneath. It's serving a good value. Good point. And the magnets still ain't got here yet. I'm waiting for the magnets. They're in Texas. They're headed this way. Okay, here's something else I've kind of put together. This holder here for a camera. My camera will fit in here. Actually, it's in one right now. It's like this. And I've got this where it goes on the front of here, but I'm going to change this over to this one is what I'm fixing to do. Okay, here's a close-up to my camera holder for this. There's a piece of Velcro down here. That way if I want to detach it, 
I can and I can put it on another one just a piece of velcro now up here I hot glued I hot glue everything I even hot glue the socks on my feet to keep them up but I hot glued two pieces of little of uh, coat hanger right here that way this could come off it tried to slide right to the left and I can still take it off I put a screw up here there's no wires going through this part here no wires at all so I put a screw there on my other one I have there's a place I can hook it back here so each one's going to have its own challenges and like I said earlier my camera will go up between here and it clips in there pretty good so we're headed outside pretty day outside that's where we're headed oh and I forgot to tell you this part right here was a piece that I got off the internet or eBay it goes on a helmet motorcycle helmet where you can set the camera uh, GoPro or something in the front and video where you're going so this goes on a helmet not no more
battery's low. Want him go in reverse. Should have charged it before I got out here. All right, guys. Tell me what you think. Lisa's made it outside. Joe's happy. Yeah, good old happy Joe. Talk to you later. Bye. All right, guys. Tell them where you've seen it at. If you like it, like it. And if you want to stay in touch, subscribe. We'll stay in touch. I'll even go check out your channel. Talk to you later. Bye.